Hello, good morning guys. I don't feel super well today. So I have to go and make the test for the COVID and see if I'm positive or not. If I'm positive, then it's, uh, I mean, it's not a big deal. I'm strong and young and just in a few days I would pass it and that's it. And then I will be immune. But I can't go to MMA training anymore. I can't do a couple of things anymore. So it would be a shame for some things. I mean, I do acting, singing and everything from home right now. So it's not a problem for those things. But for MMA, mixed martial arts and my training, it's a shame. I also am improving my voice. So that's a problem as well. Because I'm taking some medicines right now for my phlegm and for my reflux. I don't know if I can keep uh, taking them, taking those medicinals, even if I am positive. So now let's go and see. Oh, guys. Oh, that's so... <laughs> Why are they they use like a stick into your nose? That's so bad. Oh my God. I couldn't record it, of course, because the place where I had to do it uh, was inside a, a parking lot and but I went there it was in uh, you just went with the car and they did it but uh, they told me I went there and they told me after 30 minutes of car that they don't do these things anymore so oh my god I had to go to another place so right now I'm on another place and this is a little bit more uh, cool <laughs> a bit cooler so uh, now I have to wait 15 minutes and then uh, I'll have the uh, I'll have the answer. Let's see. Oh, and also police just stopped me. They just stopped me for a control. <clears throat> but it was very kind. It was very kind, and I I used my communication skills to <laughs> to just say, yeah, I'm here to, to to for the COVID. I'm here to see if I'm positive or not. And it, they also actually helped me to find another place to do it. So uh, that's it. I'll uh, leave you with the answer in some minutes. As expected, positive, damn. Well, I actually expected it. Uh, when I, everywhere I go, MMA and all the other places, everywhere I got it here, everybody got it. So I think I was almost the only one not getting it. I hope I didn't also um, give it to my family, to my parents. So right now I'm gonna stay at home for 14 days. Uh, the girl told me that I have to go at home, call my, because um, here in Italy, everyone has a private uh, doctor. So I'm gonna call my private doctor and see what happens. But I think that I have to stay at home for 14 days. And after that, I have to make another test. And if the test is still positive, it's another 10 days. If it's not positive, then it's okay. Or maybe I have to go for a molecular uh, um, test, which is a little bit um, more, it's a little bit deeper. Oh my God. Well, it's crazy because after all these things, like after the world is in quarantine, I stay at home the whole day. I stay uh, with the masks. Uh, I never broke the law. And I always use, you know, the alcohol and everything. I got it. So, damn, I think it's a matter of... I don't want to be negative, but I think it's a matter of time that everybody should pass it. I hope that not a lot of people would uh, get it in a bad way and feel bad or, or other things. But that it just passes like an influence or something. So, right now, I'm going to update you on how it is. I feel a little bit bad today, uh, so but not nothing special. So I'm gonna update you on how it is. Wow, I'm home. I'm home, 
And so yeah, I had to tell everybody, I had to tell my parents, I had to tell uh, my MMA course, I had to tell my uh, singer teacher, singing teacher, I had to tell, uh, I had to tell to a lot of people. Uh, because here in Italy, when you are positive for the COVID, uh, there is some procedures uh, with your doctor. I call the doctor, unfortunately, I can keep going with my uh, normal, medicines that this month I was taking for my voice but uh, there is no problem for that but tomorrow I have to take another test another molecular test which is deeper with your blood oh, at 1 p.m. I have to take it oh my god I just have to stay here so yeah guys I just have to stay here how do I feel well today is the first day I think I got it two days ago probably and I think I'm gonna vlog uh, the entire cure the entire healing process uh, because I don't want to I think I'm gonna make a live stream right now on my YouTube channel on how it is just to announce that I have the COVID on my YouTube channel but I think that I'm going to post this video once I I already healed from the COVID so that I can show you what's the uh, how's the process how do you feel, what do you feel, and how it works. So, how do I feel? Well, I spent 50 euros for having the test. <laughs> I don't know in other countries if it's, uh, if you have to pay for it or not. Here in Italy, you have to pay, it's 50 euros. And this makes me a little bit wonder and thinking about, oh yeah, that's why maybe they don't open. Uh, well, I don't know, it's, we, we can talk about it for a lot of time. But how do I feel? I feel a little bit sick. I feel here, um, my back hurts a little bit. I feel my muscles that hurt a little bit. I feel a little bit of um, cough, a little bit of cough, but not too much. And a way here, I feel like a, a little way here and just my head, I don't have headache, but it feels, you know, when you have fever, you when you have fever, you feel it a little bit warm here you feel warmth I feel the same uh, so I feel taste so today I feel taste there's no problem for that I feel a little bit tired I feel like uh, I feel like it is 3 a.m. in the morning and it's 5 p.m. so yeah that's the only thing that I feel right now my tongue is a little bit weird uh, like when you have fever I had fever and it's 37.6 uh, degrees uh, Celsius of course uh, which means that I have a little bit of fever is not too dangerous uh, the doctor told me that after 38 I have to take some medicines for the COVID but for now it's all good so I tried also meditation right now I'm trying to work I'm trying to make the uh, everything normally like it would normally be uh, I try to not go around the home if I have to go down maybe to take a banana or something I'll to eat because of my parents I just wear the masks and I keep uh, pay attention to the alcohol on my hands etc so I think I'm gonna just stay on my home for for a while and I just keep try to keep my daily routine as normal as possible. After meditation and after the Wim Hof method before, I felt a little bit better. So I think this helped. And now I'm working on creating content with the new camera, the Insta360, and I'm working on um, editing the videos that I made yesterday. Fortunately, yesterday I felt good. So yesterday I made the videos. So my videos for my YouTube channel are ready for uh, two weeks, but so fortunately, I already did it. I'll try also, today I had my MMA workout, but of course I cannot go. Uh, so I think that I'm gonna just try to work out a little bit here at home, having the, my normal routine. Tomorrow I have, I should have add uh, my singing classes, just, sorry, my dancing class. So I think that I'm gonna just dance here a little bit. And I'll also have the Wim Hof routine on Saturday. So I'll try to keep my routine, not exaggerating, but try to keep it and not stopping it. Uh, and reading, I want to keep reading as well. I also think I'm gonna just relax a little bit if I feel too ill and watch some Netflix or something, because I just want to relax. So yeah, guys, uh, I think that for today is, that's it. I'm gonna vlog the entire healing process and let you know how it is. 
Hello guys, so just a little quick update. This is the night, uh, just the first night, and I my fever got worse, 38.4 degrees Celsius. So I had to take medicines. And another thing, I was also here uh, after dinner, I was very tired. So I went to bed and I'm here chilling, just relaxing, watching some uh, TV. And I felt very weird in the pubic area, so it felt very weird. So I went to the bathroom and I noticed something. Uh, I normally suffer stress. So when I'm very stressed because of a sickness or something, I get some red spots and like it blows and it's it's stitchy and uh, in, in my body. And I also went a couple of times to the hospital because of this. And I felt this thing on my pubic pubic area and also something in my testicles so I made some research online I called the doctor and it's because of inflammation so because of this COVID and everything it can uh, cause inflammation so they told me to take cortisol which is very cortisone which is very heavy but uh it's the one thing that I have to do. So right now I'm I'm taking the first one and then in a, in 10 minutes I'm taking the next one, two pills. And I know that the Wim Hof method helps with inflammation. So I'm doing some breathing exercises. And it, actually I feel it. So yeah, that's it. I hope it will be fine tonight. I also posted a story and a post about the COVID that I got positive. And I'm so thankful for all the positive messages and the support I got. Like, it's incredible. I'm so grateful. All the messages, all, all the comments, and all the people that just, yes, they appear when something bad happens. But uh, I don't care. It's just, it's just a thing that it matters so much to me because it means that people, even if they don't think about you the whole time or they don't connect with you the whole time, you are still in their mind or you are still in their hearts. So I'm so thankful. Day two. It's day two. <laughs> Oh my god, this night was a nightmare. Uh, look here. These are the inflammations that I get, the spots that I told you. It gets inflated, it gets all over the body because of stress. Normally when my immune system is uh, under attack. So this is the problem because tonight I had fever, which made me, um, which made me stress. So I got these things that really hurts and are, and are itchy. And so I couldn't sleep uh, even worse. It was even worse to sleep. I couldn't sleep. And then I also had a really wet, heavy way here, almost like when you have reflux, uh, when you have stomach ache. And I noticed that that was because of oxygen. I lacked a little bit of oxygen. Uh, so it was like a chain. Uh, the, the spots, because of stress, stress uh, did, uh, made me nervous. Being nervous made me have fever even more. Having fever made me having these spots and I couldn't sleep. And not sleeping made me even more stressed. So this was a nightmare. Tonight I didn't sleep. Uh, this morning, actually, let me tell you, something really weird happened. This is not a sponsor or something. It's just that I wanted to tell you about it. Uh, the red spots are even on my testicles and pubic area are still there. But uh, I also talked with my doctor and I have to take... Uh, for either two or three days um, cortisone so I keep taking cortisone and other medicines for my fever I feel a little bit better now because at 4 a.m. in the morning tonight this morning I uh, woke up and my dad came here into my bedroom he gave me the medicine for fever and after getting the medicine after a while I also started doing the Wim Hof method. 
I started doing the breathing exercises because I know that they help with inflammation. It helps with adrenaline in your blood. So it makes you feel less your aches. So it makes you feel less sick and it makes you uh, your oxygen more saturated for a while and your entire uh, bl blood be a little bit more saturated. So I just started here and I did like five, uh, five breaths, deep breaths, and then whew, out again, stay there until I can, and then all in and stay there until I can, and then all out and repeat five times, seven times, 10 times. I repeated for one hour. Guys, I felt so much better. The heavy weight here completely got away and I felt relaxed. And finally this morning I fell asleep. And now I had to wake up to take some medicines and have breakfast. Because, yes, it's really late. Uh, it's noon, so <laughs> that's it. So this was my first night, a nightmare. Oh, and my Apple Watch told me that I have 96% blood saturation, oxygen saturation in my blood, which is not good. It should be 98, 95, 100%. Uh, so I have to keep attention on that as well. Oh, another thing, my parents actually tonight decided that the molecular test, which is deeper made with your blood, uh, we postpone it uh, because it's not necessary. It should be necessary to find out what kind of cure and medicines to have. So what's your inflammation and go a little bit deeper with it. Uh, but right now we know exactly what to take. So, and I was too... Uh, sick to go to the hospital it's really weird because you know my entire yeah because we postpone it maybe in 10 days i will do it to see if i still if i'm still positive or not uh, but you know it's really weird because right now my entire family is in quarantine so we have to stay at home not going anywhere uh, and we cannot even go taking medicines or something so it's really weird or not even going to the market to the supermarket Fortunately, we have a really good neighbor and he's gonna help us with medicines and everything. So he's going to take the medicines for us and we, which is really helpful. In. 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 Then. Just did the entire Wim Hof method uh, weekly routine. So all the exercises and also meditation. Uh, 528 hearts, hertz, whole body regeneration. I don't know, <laughs> but I hope it helps. It actually helped. I feel so much better now. That's insane. How breathing exercises and relaxing and meditating can help you with this. Also, 
I received so much support from you guys and uh, in the comments and and replying now. I see that you also suggested me some things like vitamin C, uh, which I'm actually taking, and also uh, to not watch the uh, the news. I never watch the news; it's so negative. But to just relax and find something uh, nice to focus on the positive, of course, all the things that I already do, and also. Uh, some ginger, ginger, garlic. So I think I'm going to have a ginger tea later on. So thanks a lot for that. Ginger, garlic, can you also suggest in me some other things uh, like cumin or something or curcuma? That's great. I think I'm going to... Uh, I'll have uh, my normal vegetable soup for lunch. So I'm going to add curcuma and olive oil. So yeah, that's it. So thanks a lot for the support, guys. Oh yeah, you also told me, of course, to stay hydrated, which I'm doing, 3 liters of water per day. And also to eat, to keep eating, not too much, but eating at least, try to be a little active as well. Not doing workouts, etc., but being active, staying away from cold. And also trying to eat warm food, not cold food. And this is what I'm doing. Also, my doctor for the testicle thing the pubic thing told me to start taking for some days also some anti antibiotic so yeah i'm gonna update you on that i'm also adding some protein and some fruits you told me also that it's very good bananas and apples mostly i also keep going with the voice and stomach cure and recovery and also i'm taking some supplements so i think that right now i'm just taking multivitamin so a normal multivitamin i don't take um, bcaa or thermogenic or other things uh, or omega-3 i'll just take the multivitamin because i think it's it's healthy it's not heavy it's just good and it helps also with the immune system keep working anyway trying to stay up with the routine anyway dark chocolate is also very nice and also almonds guys i feel fine so i wanted to have a quick workout because the doctor told me to try the oxygen after three minutes of activity to see if it's still good so today i had my workout my workout plan my workout schedule i'm gonna have just some pull-ups to stay active and that's it some real simple exercises nothing too too bad nothing nothing too much so i'm gonna just do it it's cold but i got myself some coverage and and then i'll have a shower Guys, I decided to take the cold shower anyway. I made some research because I always take cold showers. Just one minute, cold shower right away, and then a hot shower, and then I go for a cold shower in the end for another minute, 30 seconds. Uh, but I made some research and I actually discovered that taking cold showers, quick ones, can help you with COVID and with fever and with inflammation, etc. So uh, I did a little less, so just one minute instead of two minutes in the beginning. And then right now I switch to cold, to hot and then cold and then hot again. And that's it. So I wanted to take cold showers anyway. I think it's really helpful.